we invite you to explore an emerging perspective, a holistic and systemic worldview. One that is more fluid, spiritual, peaceful, hopeful, and truthful, and that ultimately elevates our creativity and efficiency and overall experience of life and will guide us through the current existential challenges facing humanity. The human body is capable of performing the most complex of tasks, with minimum effort with no central command. Recent developments in nonlinear sciences such as systems theory, network theory, cognitive theory, and quantum mechanics are supporting our observation that like the human body, Earth is a cognitive, self-organizing, self-regulating, self-healing living system. There is an inherent universal organizing pattern that extends from our bodies to the entire universe and exists at every level and scale of existence. The simplicity of it has long been acknowledged and experienced by wisdom traditions worldwide, yet obscured by the dominant, linear worldview, a byproduct of our self-awareness journey. Here, we will delve into the universal behavior of this nonlinear self-organizing process contrasting it with the dominant linear worldview. Using the human body as a metaphor, we will see how we became out of sync from and how we can realign with the larger process we are all a part of. We can observe the self-organizing process in ourselves, in other species, in the Earth itself, the solar system, and beyond. They all embody a universal inherent organizing pattern, the nonlinear network. Nonlinear networks blend order and randomness, resulting in a system that is both highly interconnected and flexible. Flexible enough to function far from equilibrium in the chaotic zone, where the whole network becomes fractal, a quality that allows for members of the network to synchronize efficiently through cooperation, partnership, and asset management, collectively creating a whole greater than the sum of its parts. In this way, Nonlinear networks are the wellspring of the universe's creativity. But through our self-awareness process, we learned how to separate subject from object and eventually came up with abstract thinking that led to our perception of our elusive separation from the universe. Then, based on the partial stability and order of our immediate surroundings, we approximated the linear model by eliminating perceived randomness and assuming the proportionality of cause and effect providing linear thinking that works perfectly when events are in equilibrium. But in the chaotic zone, the natural self-organizing process manifests as an absence of any proportionality of cause and effect, generally perceived as randomness. While each event is a result of the contribution of so many sub-events, we linearize the primary event by ignoring seemingly insignificant contributors concluding the primary event is consequent of only the most significant contributor. It allowed us to predict, plan, and create expectations. This provided the pleasure of certainty for a linear logic that eventually created a deterministic and judgmental belief system. To protect this illusory separated identity, the nature of this linear logic became defensive, leading to liability management, bias towards negativity, and fear of change and we also established linear relationships based on self-assertiveness, short-term gain, domination, competition, and liability management. Linear thinking developed further in the left hemisphere of the brain and has become the dominant view of humankind, most notably over the past 300 years. Based on this approximate linear model, we created linear economies, political systems, and reductionist science, which have led us to become out of sync with the inherent self-organizing process of the universe at every level, from our personal to social and planetary levels. But the linear model also has served as a powerful tool for our survival, and it has emerged as a part of the cognitive process that is allowing us to acknowledge this universe as a self-organizing system, and is guiding us to realign ourselves in this chaotic nonlinear digital era. With the rise of the internet, a nonlinear network, we have entered an emergent nonlinear era, a digital age characterized by rapid change, heightened interconnectivity, unpredictability, and chaos. The main challenge of this emergence is the domination of the linear model becoming counterproductive and increasingly unsustainable. 
as it's out of sync with the current nonlinear digital world. To deal with challenges and pass through this emerging period successfully, we must align with the universe's natural organizational pattern, which requires a paradigm shift in our values, relationships, and thinking habits. This paradigm shift begins within the brain and its relationship with the whole body network. Subconsciously, the brain works in harmony with the body through cooperative, nonlinear relationships. However, when dominated by linear thinking, the brain creates a sense of separation from both the universe and the rest of the body network. The brain, a self-organizing system, can be trained to operate in a nonlinear fashion by observing our thoughts and behaviors with nonlinear values, transitioning our thinking from judgment to observation, analysis to intuition, negativity to positivity, blame to acceptance, anger to tolerance, vengefulness to forgiveness, violence to peace, and despair to hope. By viewing challenges as opportunities and cognitive processes with the potential to teach us something greater, our non-judgmental observation acts as a positive feedback system to reorganize the brain. This process can enable the synchronization of the left and right hemispheres, overcoming the dominance of the more analytical, materialistic, and masculine left side. By activating the more intuitive, spiritual, and feminine right side and fostering cooperation between the hemispheres, we unlock the optimum potential of the brain and the whole body network which in turn allows us to connect with fellow humans intuitively through our hearts, unbridled by judgment. So, it's here, within us, that the paradigm shift starts, beginning in the brain, a major hub of the body network, and expanding outward, advancing the body network physically, cognitively, and spiritually, and then permeating beyond us to any network we're a part of. After all, we are the byproduct of this amazing creative journey from a single cell to a self-aware human being. Because nonlinear networks exhibit scale-free, universal behavioral patterns and self-similarity, understanding how to shift in our brain and body network reveals the shift of all networks, from our personal to social and environmental activities. This deep simplicity has been hidden due to the domination of and our addiction to the linear model that gives us an illusory sense of control in this nonlinear world. Our planet Earth is telling us, as a cognitive self-organizing system like you, I wanted to become self-aware and I chose you, human beings, the hub of the Earth network, to grow through this self-awareness process. Now that you have acknowledged the simplicity and efficiency of this universal self-organizing process and the limitations of the domination of the linear model, this step of your journey has been achieved. Now, simply focus on your achievements and assets rather than your liabilities. You see, I give you all that you need, unconditionally, without expectation or judgment. All you need to do is act like me, with unconditional love, and synchronize with the greater process that you're a part of. Aligning with the natural pattern of organization of the universe helps us reconnect with the greater self-organizing process we're all a part of by shifting our focus from our differences to commonalities, from liabilities to our assets and achievements, from domination to cooperation, and by embracing flexibility, simplicity, interconnectivity, cooperation, non-judgment, and unconditional love we will awaken our entire being and elevate our experience of life. This process begins within our brain to free ourselves from the domination of the left side linear mind to achieve a higher potential of a whole that is working in full cooperation. And this applies to the whole body and permeates to any network we're a part of, any interaction of human beings, our social networks, our economic, political, and environmental policies, and to our whole planet network. By acknowledging nonlinear networks as the underlying pattern of the universal self organizing process, given that nonlinear networks have self similar behavior, knowledge of one network provides an understanding of all at any scale. And so knowing how to realign with this universal pattern in your body network can expand to any network at any scale. 
That's the deep simplicity. Long acknowledged and experienced by wisdom traditions worldwide. Reuniting nonlinear science and spirituality. Explore more at self-org.org.